Hello, everyone. My name is Flavio Pereira. I'm part of the technical enablement at OCI. Uh, this is the storage lesson 200 level. Uh, and on this last part, we're going to cover file storage uh, service. So I'm going to give you an overview of file storage and cover some of the performance aspects uh, of file storage as well. Um, just to give a quick overview, file storage is a service that can provide you shared file system uh, across OCI. So if you have applications or servers that needs to access a single uh, file system, a shared file system, so file storage is a great services that can provide that for you. Um, it's uh, it's based on it's a, it's a managed services, so you can uh, provision the file storage. And what I be my, what I mean by manage is the file uh, file storage will grow in size. Um, it depends on the amount of data you actually put inside of the file system. So you don't have to worry about. Uh, increasing the file um, storage, increasing the, the amount of storage. As you start putting data on it, it automatically increase and give you the flexibility of just, uh, you know, uh, attach those uh, those uh, file storage on any instances that you have up and running on OCI. As you probably saw in a hundred level, uh, all the components about file storage, the mount target, the uh, the file, uh, the file storage, uh, as well. So how you mount it, how you access that uh, inside of the instance. So it's just here, just to give an overview of what it is, uh, and show you some capabilities of file storage as well. So it supports NFS v3. Uh, you can hook up that on Linux or Windows. So you can, uh, if you're running Linux or Windows instances, you can uh, map that file storage and then uh, be able to use that uh, with your application. Uh, you can take snapshots, you can take backups of your of your storage uh, as well. So if you uh, if you once you create some sort of policies to copy the data, uh, you can easily uh, script that and you know take take backup of your storage uh, when you need it. In terms of performance, um, this is a table that gives you an idea of um, read and write bandwidth that you can achieve with file uh, storage performance along with some IOPS. Uh, so we measured this, um, uh, we measured this performance when you access the VM or the bare metal server connecting on the same availability domain where the file storage was mounted to it. So um, latency on the network will be uh, will be an uh, impact here as you're crossing the network to access uh, that file storage. Uh, there is more details on the file storage performance guide on this white paper uh, what goes all the way through the test and what exactly was executed in order to get those numbers. Uh, but that's just to give a reference, give an idea, depends on the file system um, amount of data you have. Uh, you can see you can get better IOPS too. So if increasing from one terabyte to 100 terabytes, uh, and then the amount of, depend on the network too. So you can get more uh, in terms of IOPS uh, as well. Make sure you can parallel some of the um, uh, jobs and executions when you're doing um, when you're doing copies uh, over the file storage. So if you can create multiple threads that can uh, execute that, you're gonna increase the amount of performance uh, on on the file storage. Uh, to minimi minimize latency, it's recommended that you have the same the mount target and the the clients or the, the machines that will be consuming the file storage on the same availability domain. So that will minimize latency uh, for that as well. Another thing is when you mount the um, uh, the file storage on your on your VM on your server, uh, don't pass any uh, options on the R size or on the read size on the write size. Because the way we, we adjust the, the, the file storage is to give you the better performance uh, without any uh, option uh, when you're using the mount command. So make sure you don't, you don't put anything there uh, and then we'll automatically negotiate all the, the performance uh, between the client and the server so you get the best, the best, thing you, uh, the best performance on the, on the services. So there's a blog post uh, that's going to talk about some of the tools to parallelize the, the, um, the um, copy uh, from one, one place to another one using file storage. So that's going to give you better performance uh, on the services too. Uh, here's one uh, reference architecture for EBS. So if you're running EBS, for example, you need a file storage service uh, to, you need a shared device actually to, to provide for your EBS. Uh, file storage serves a recommended way to do it. 
uh, and then that can that can help you out uh, when you architecting the application uh, on top of OCI. So there is a document documentation uh, and white paper going through all the configuration how you can do that. Uh, you can access that on the link uh, and then get all the information how to deploy this file uh, system, uh, file storage service, uh, and OCI to support your EBS. All right, so let me do a quick demo. I'm going to show you the file storage um, pr pr uh, provision and then uh, how you can get access to it. All right, so let me do a quick demo of the file. Um, storage uh, service so on the left menu after logging to my OCI account if I click on the left menu there's a file storage um, option under core infrastructure and I can click on file system so here um, is the screen where I'm gonna create my file system so let's just create the first one uh, this is gonna give me a few details about the file system information, the export information, and mount target uh, information as well. So I'll, I'll change a couple things here uh, to reflect the availability domain uh, that I wanna I wanna place my file system. So I'm gonna edit the edit the details here. Uh, I'm gonna give another name here, just file system AD3 uh, on availability domain three. I also going to use the the Oracle uh, manage keys uh, for encryption. I can also bring my own encryption if I encryption if I want to. Um, export information. I'll keep that um, as file system AD3. I can increase the security of um, of the export information. So if I want to um, give access to a specific set of uh, IP addresses or subnets. Um, or, I'm, or I'm out of subnets inside of my uh, VCN, so I can do that on the exporting export uh, options. So mount target, um, I can use the, I'm gonna use the VCN uh, that I have created here, the public subnet that I, I created as well, the region one. And I'm gonna just call that mount target uh, AD3, okay. So with that, I can click create. Uh, this is where we start the process of creating the the file system and the mount target uh, as well, right? All right. So we created the file system AD3. I have a I export path called uh, file system AD3 to the mount target AD3. So fairly easy um, utilization here is um, zero um, bytes. So I, I didn't put any file yet. I just created. Uh, if I check the, um, fi the file system uh, portion, I can see all the information about the, the export uh, path and the NFS export options. I can edit this and I can control a little bit better who can have read and write uh, access to my export path, right? So once I created, um, I have this information here. If I go into mount target, I'll see the mount target as well and which IP addresses was associated to my mount target. So if I click on the mount target, uh, I can get the, um, um, the mount commands. So if I click here on the action button, I can get the mount command. So I can access my, um, my Linux machine and then install the NFS uh, OTUs uh, package and then be able to mount uh, the file system there. So it gives you some message about the secure list. Of course, you have to open the secure ports uh, on the FSS to make sure the traffic can go in and out uh, of your uh, VCN of your or subnet so you allow access to the mount target from the client uh, that you install the NFS client on it. So uh, here I can change the operating system if I want a different operating system, right? So I'm using Oracle Linux. I'm going to just copy this command here. And if I go to the machine and I'm going to use this one, which is the, the Denseo that we used before. So if I just um, um, install the NFS UTUs, so say so it's the package already installed. So Oracle Linux will come with the NFS utilities, uh, UTUs uh, installed. So now I can just go back here and I'm going to just create a, a directory. Just use, use the recommended, recommended uh, information here. It can be another, another director, directory if you want to. Uh, just create that and then now I can just copy the mount command and execute it. So let's just go over here. I'm going to mount my file system AD3 on this um, um, directory MNT file system AD3. So if I do that, 
then if I check the df dash h, I can see uh, the FSS mounted here, right? So if I go in any other machine that I have, I can mount the same um, the same point, and then if I create a file there, it will create a file um, uh, here in the directory. It will show that on, on the other machine too. So let's let's do that real quick. Let me just uh, split that into portions and get um, let me just get the SSH to another to another uh, VM. So real quick here. I do have a second VM. Uh, let's use this one. And I'll get the public IP. Let's do an SSH on that one. So I don't have any um, um, FSS mounted here. So I'm just going to use the same commands that I used here before. So just do uh, created the mounting point. And we're going to mount using the same command here as well. Okay. So now I have this file system mounted on, on two different machines. So if I navigate it to slash mnt file system, and if I do touch Flavio, create a file, right? I have a file created here. Now, if I go to the MNT file system AD3, I can also see the Flavio here, right? So if I remove from here, say yes, I want to delete this file. Oh. Yeah, I want to delete this file, so I just did a sudo command to you. And if I check here, um, the file is gone. Right. Yeah. So this is how you can uh, share um, a file system between two boxes, two instances inside of OCI. Yeah. Thanks for watching.